My people, I found 120 of the 130 golden walnuts on Stardew Valley, and I'm going to show you where they all are. This video took forever to make because there is currently no information about where any of the walnuts are online, so I had to find all of the walnuts myself and get video of me getting all of the walnuts myself, and also I cover all 120 of the locations I found in four minutes because I value your time. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like because it does help the video do better on YouTube, and if you've liked a couple of my videos, please consider subscribing. I also stream live at twitch.tv slash unsurpassablez. <gasps> from the top, go to Ginger Island and walk into the woods on the right. Take the walnut from this bush and give it to the parrot in Leo's house. For future reference, this parrot gives you hints on the walnuts you haven't found yet, so if you're stuck, talk to him. He gives you one hint every day. While you're here, hit this tree with a pickaxe to get your second walnut. To get to this one, you need to walk into the area above, then down this secret path behind this tree. In the area above the main beach, dig with your hoe in this circle of rocks, then walk around the secret path to collect another. There's another in this circle of rocks to the right, and another in this raised bed of sand. All the way up the path to the left of the volcano is one by the cliff, then you can walk down these two secret paths to get to this one. To the right of the volcano entrance, there's one hidden behind this tree, and there's one in the nose of this smiley face. Inside the volcano, you can bridge your way down the left and walk out the door to get two more, bringing your total to 12. Use these walnuts to make the big turtle move, then follow this secret path up above the farm to get another one. If you head down just before getting to the bridge on the left, you can find this one peeking out. To the left you can enter this secret cave and play a memory game for three walnuts, just press the crystals in the same order they light up. There's another one just outside the cave, then by the slimes there's one hidden behind this tree, one in the middle of this tall grass, and one down this long path. Outside Key's room there's another, then you'll find one hidden down this path along the water. Talk to Birdie to receive a warm memento, which you should then take to Kent, who will give you something to give to Gus, who will give you something to give to Sandy, who will give you something to give to George, who will give you something to give to the wizard, who will give you something to give to Willie, who will then finally give you something to give back to Birdie. I know it's annoying, but you will get 10 walnuts out of it. Then dig between these pools for another walnut. To get this guy in the ground, cover three of his holes and then hit him with a sword, then enter the sunken ship to find another. Break this big rock, then dig in the middle of the starfishes for one. There's one buried by this pile of wood, and you can get five from these rocks. After grabbing the one partially covered by this tree, we can spend ten walnuts to repair this bridge. Digging up artifacts here has a good chance to give you a golden coconut, which when cracked open for the first time by Clint gives you a walnut. There's also a chance to receive a banana sapling, which you'll need later. Dig in this circle to find one, across this bridge is one, and through this secret tunnel are two more. Use any size bomb to free Professor Snail, then go to the board in his tent and answer the first question with 22, then the second question with 18. Professor Snail will give you a total of 11 walnuts for finding his bones, but this can take a lot of searching. This is probably a good time to talk about the volcano mine. There's a ton in here, you get around 5 from killing enemies, 5 hidden in these metal boxes, and 5 by breaking the rocks. Once you've made it all the way through the volcano to the forge, check out my forge guy by the way, you'll find two more. Once you have 20 walnuts to spend, you should prepare the sleep hut. If you're still short, you can get five more from fishing, quote, deep in the water. Yes, I just quoted a parrot. The sleep hut is great because not only does it allow you to stay on the island from day to day, it opens up this cave with this frog guy in it. He'll be like, God, I want to see someone grow a melon outside. So you should do that for five walnuts. Then he'll be like, God, some wheat would go nice with that melon. So you should grow some of that too for another five. Then he'll be like, garlic. And after you show some of that to him too, he'll give you another five. Also to make sure you don't mess this up, the crop needs to be grown and in the ground and then you talk to him. Do not pick it and try to give it to him. You should also plant your banana sapling as soon as possible because when you offer a banana to the shrine by Leo's, you'll get another three. Once you've got another 20 to spend, you should repair the beach resort, which opens the southeast beach. This is the last area to unlock, so after this I'd recommend spending your walnuts to repair this shop because there's cool stuff in here like a banana sapling if you didn't get one from a golden coconut. This mermaid wants you to play her song from the night market on flute blocks. You get the recipe to make flute blocks after getting to six hearts with Robin. Place the blocks as shown, click the first block two times, second one 11 times, third one 10 times, fourth block five times, and fifth block seven times. After that, run by from left to right to play this beautiful melody and she'll give you five walnuts. Fish in the middle of this pond and dig between this starfish to get two more. In the cave you can dig here for one, and I also found that fishing off the bottom of this dock gives you a surprise statue of Frogman. And there's also some that you can only get if you've already found the journal page with the hint. Dig here for this journal page, or here for this one. I also know that there's one buried right here, except I haven't gotten that journal page yet. The final walnuts I know how to get are from the gem bird puzzle, found to the right of Leo's house. Every time it rains on the island, there's a chance that a bird will appear and drop a gem. If your bird spawns here, put its gem on the north pedestal. If it spawns here, put its gem on the east pedestal. If it spawns here, put its gem on the south pedestal. If it spawns here, put its gem on the west pedestal. This puzzle is randomized for every player, so you have to keep track of it yourself. Also, there's a free walnut chilling right here. <sighs> oh my gosh, there you go. 120 of the 130 golden walnut locations. If this helped you in any way, like I said, please consider leaving a like on the video or subscribing. And I do stream live at twitch.tv slash unsurpassablez. That's all I have for you guys this time, though. I will see you in the next video. Peace.